Surely God is good to the virtuous, to the clean of heart. But as for me, I almost stumbled. I nearly lost my foothold, for I was envious of the arrogant when I saw them prosper in their wickedness. For they suffer no pain, they are strong and sound of body, free from troubles common to mortals. They are not stricken by human ills. That is why pride becomes their necklace and violence the robe that covers them. Evil comes from their callous hearts, boundless evil from their corrupt minds. They scoff and speak with malice, and in their arrogance they threaten oppression. Their mouths defy the heavens, and their tongues dictate on earth. People therefore look up to them, and lap up every word they utter. How will God ever find out, they say? Is everything known to the Most High? Such are the wicked, always carefree, while they rake in riches. In vain have I kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been stricken and punished every morning. Had I spoken as they do, I would not be acting as one of your children. Although I tried to understand this, it was difficult for me, until I entered the sanctuary of God. Then I perceived their approaching doom. You place them on slippery ground and make them fall to ruin. How suddenly they are destroyed, completely swept away in terror. As one awakes from a nightmare. So when you arise, O Lord, you shake them off like a dream. But my heart had been so embittered, my spirit so distraught, that I failed to understand. I was like a stupid beast in your presence. Yet I shall always remain with you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And in the end, you will take me to glory. I have no one in heaven but you. On earth, I desire nothing but you. My flesh and my heart waste away, longing for my beloved, my rock. God is my portion forever. Those who abandon you will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, my joy is to be near God. I have made the Lord my refuge, and I will proclaim all his works.